everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet an easy classic French beret. This is a quick and simple pattern to crochet because we're just going to single crochet in the round, increasing and then decreasing again to make this hat. And just a reminder, you can find the written instructions for this free pattern on my website, tiffanybliss.com. For this pattern, you will need one skein of number four worsted weight yarn. I used I Love This Cotton in the color French Cotton. This skein had about 180 yards and I used almost the whole ball. I used an H8 five millimeter crochet hook. And for a stitch marker, I just used yarn in a contrasting color. You'll also need scissors and a yarn needle. The first thing we're going to do is make a magic ring and place six single crochet stitches into the magic ring. While we're doing that, I wanna talk a bit about this pattern. I tried to make the hat as round as possible, so I really staggered the increases and decreases in this pattern. I go into greater detail on my website, but as long as you follow the pattern and know how to increase and decrease, you can make this really easy beginner crochet hat. There's really not much to explain with this pattern because it's so easy, so I'll walk you through the basics. Okay, we have our magic circle. Now we're going to put our six single crochets into the loop. And you'll wanna place your stitch marker into the last crocheted stitch. Because this pattern is worked in a continuous round, we're not going to be joining at the end, and the stitch marker really helps to know where the start and end of each round is. Now we're going to make an increase in each stitch in the round, and that simply means we're going to put two single crochets into every stitch. Okay, now I just finished the 20th round, and now we're going to make three rounds of single crochets. No increasing and no decreasing yet. Okay, I finished my three rounds, and now we're going to start decreasing. We'll start with number 20, because now we're counting backwards. You're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. And to decrease, it's really, really simple. Single crochet two together to make your first decrease stitch. To do that, you're just going to insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn through. You should have three loops on your hook and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three together at once. And that's it. It's really, really very simple. Now we're going to single crochet in the next 20 stitches and then work another single crochet two together in the next stitch. We'll repeat this pattern until almost the end where you'll have 16 stitches left and you'll just single crochet into those until the end of this round. When you reach the end of row 10, because I counted backwards from 20 to 10 in my instructions, we're going to chain one and fasten off. And that's it. But a beret is not a beret unless we also make a stem that goes on the top, in my opinion, of course. So to do that, we're going to chain seven Then slip stitch down the row from the second chain on the hook until you reach the bottom. Once you're at the bottom, chain one, pull it tight and cut the yarn, leaving a tail. You should have two tails next to each other at this point. Next, we're going to use our crochet hook to pull the tails through the hat in the center and tie them to the hat tail. Then weave all three tails, one hat and two stem tails into your hat. Then cut off any excess yarn. And that's it. 
told you it was easy. And I really, really love how this turned out. I love this hat so much, and I think you will too. Okay, everyone, that's all for now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.